Hi, welcome to the Dragonfly tutorial on region of interest. The region of interest is under the segment tab in the left hand corner and all of your ROI tools will appear here. So region of interest is useful for highlighting a specific region of your 3D image. So to begin, you want to click new to create a new region of interest and today I want to highlight a section of my battery so I will make that the name and over here you can choose the color that you want your ROI to be for now I'll stick with the teal color I'll hit OK and for geometry for now I only have this data set but make sure you click on the data set that you want to be highlighting so Fitbit works and now I hit OK. So next we want to define our range. Our range determines the overall area that you want to be highlighting. So if we show our histogram, as you can see, this is similar to, the, to our window leveling histogram. It shows all of the densities in your 3D image. And since I want to be highlighting my battery, which is a uh, greater density, I want to move this way so now I can just focus just on the battery. And you want to move your range to whatever suits your needs. Okay, so that looks pretty good. And then now I'm going to move to the slice that I want to be looking at. I'll just highlight this region of my battery. So I'll start here. So I'll go into 2D mode in my ROI painter. And for 2D mode, it only paints that slice that you are painting on. So I'll zoom in to get a clearer view of it. And then I'll hit, I'll hit the brush button. And then you can choose between a square, and a square and a circular brush. And for now, I'll choose a circular brush. Now to begin painting, you hit the left control and you left click and you begin painting that region that you want to look at. So once I've painted this section, I'll move to another slice that I want to look at in this case. And you can see over here, I you can see the slice I just highlighted. And I'll move to another slice that I want to end my region on. So I'll end over here. Again, left control to highlight. And say you make a mistake just like I did over here and you highlight outside of the region that you want to highlight in. You can left shift and left click and now you can remove the mistake you just made. Okay, so that looks pretty good. And now, instead of, now that I wanna highlight the region in between these two slices, but instead of going through each slice and highlighting the area, a much easier way to do that is to interpolate. And this time we'll do it along the Z axis over here. Make sure you are on the right um, geometry and hit apply. Okay, so now that I just hit apply, as you can see, Dragonfly has interpolated all the data in between the two slices that I painted in the beginning. And this is helpful so that you don't have to go in yourself and paint every single slice in between the two slices yourself. Instead, Dragonfly can just interpolate it for you. Another tool that's really useful is called the Fill Inner Areas tool. Now, say, let's go into the slice, and say we want to highlight this section. So let's highlight it. Okay, so now I've highlighted it, I can use the Fill Inner Areas tool, and I'll put it on the Z axis, and I'll hit Apply. And now, as you can see, Dragonfly has highlighted all the area inside of my 
painted region that is not within my range. So now another tool that's useful is in, in the ROI painter is the 3D mode. So I'll create a new ROI to show you. Again, I'll just call it section of battery uh, 3D. And for DSL, I'll choose Fitbit. Hit OK. So now in 3D mode, So in 3D mode, when you paint a region on your, say, your selected slice, Dragonfly will continue to paint that same exact region in multiple slices on the same axis. Now I'll show you what I mean. So first I'll just hide this for now. Okay, so if we go back. So say, again, I choose to highlight this section. You can go into 3D mode. In the paintbrush in 3D mode, the controls are exactly the same, so I can do the left control and left click to add a region and left shift and left control to remove a region. So I'll use the round brush. So again, I'll paint this section over here. Okay, now if I look at multiple slices, notice how I only painted on slice 258, but if I move through the different areas, Dragonfly, if I move through different slices, Dragonfly has highlighted the same um, region throughout multiple slices. Okay. So another good tool in the 3D mode is the point and click tool. So when you use the point and click tool, it will add, it will paint the entire region on that one slice that is within the range and it will also paint it through multiple slices. So for example, click here. Now everything within my range has been highlighted and it has gone through every single slice. So now pretty much my entire range has just been highlighted. And that's it.